guys, it's your girl Sue back with another video and today I will be reviewing this 14 inch kinky curly Amazon wig that I got last week. I got it because I thought I might be going out after Thanksgiving dinner. I didn't go out but I did wear it to my little Thanksgiving get together. So yeah, so let's get into it. So I got this hair. The name of the vendor is BLY. It says it stands for beauty, love, and youth, and it says it's a 100% human wig, human hair wig. So this is the box that came in, too. I ordered it from Amazon. So I'm like, shoot, you know, I really don't want to go get a new haircut because I'm trying to grow my hair out. I want to be natural. You know, I hate, like, I love when I cut my hair the first time. It looks good, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to be getting my hair cut every two weeks. My hair grows fast, and... Yeah, so I was like, you know, I don't got time for that. Like, I'm just trying to grow my hair out. I'm not gonna try, I'm not trying to be bald headed for six months. Like, no. Like, I want my little mini fro, and that's that's it. So I was like, okay. I made this decision like Monday, and Thanksgiving is Thursday, and I was like, where am I gonna get a wig from? I went to the beauty supply store. I really wasn't liking what I saw. So I was like, you know, let me check out Amazon. I looked at some YouTube reviews, and I was like, hmm. I don't really like these reviews. I mean, I checked out the hairs that the people were suggesting. And I really... When I, so I looked at the reviews on YouTube. Then I go to Amazon and I look at the reviews. So when I go when I go on Amazon, I like to look at all the negative reviews first. Because I'm like, I know they be doing promotions and be like giving you refunds and stuff if you leave good comments. So I was like, you know, how can this hair... It's all good reviews. So I go to the negative reviews and I'm like... You know, if I see somebody's like, oh, this hair sheds, I'm not going to really be pressed. All hair sheds, you know, my hair sheds, it doesn't matter. But, you know, if I am if I hear like, oh, you know, this wig, you can see the track and, you know, if people show pictures of the wig looking like matted dog hair, I'm not going to be into it. And I always like to see if the hair will take color because I feel like the hair is, you know, at least decent quality if it can take color. Because I remember I bought this hair on AliExpress one time and the hair would not bleach. Like, it just wouldn't at all. So, back to this review. Oh, <laughs> So, yeah, so I got this hair by Beauty, Love, and Youth. It came in this box. It came with this card. And it came with a hair with, like, a... 2,000 years later. It came with this wig cap, but I just had a slow moment. So yeah, it came with this wig cap, right? So I was like, hmm, interesting color, right? So listen up. I was like, interesting color. This is cool. Like, I'm into this, but let me let me show y'all something. So I used one and I threw it away. I'm like, whose who's scalp is this color? Look at this. Like, look at this. Whose scalp is this color? Like, I don't know nobody with this color scalp. Like, if it was like, you know, even a light color, I could have put some makeup on it, whatever. I did everything that I could on Thanksgiving Day to get this color out. And I was able to finesse it, but I was like, I need to get my own wig cap. And I'm like, what's the point of giving somebody a free wig cap, two free wig caps, if it, they can't even use it? Like, this color is terrible. Like, I don't know anybody with this color scalp. It's the most ugliest mustard I've ever seen. So, again, I went and got my own wig cap. And I actually already wore this wig. And I don't do the... The wig cap method people be doing i just literally put my wig cap on and i put my wig on and i'm that's it like that's all i'm doing so this wig honestly i like it all i did to it was wet it put some water on it and yeah i put some water on it and some hair conditioner and that was it so So this is makeup on the wig cap, just so I could match my scalp a little, because when I first put it on, even though this was like, um, a pretty like brown wig cap, it still was like not matching. So this is what I do. I'm really, this is the lazy girl method, cause I be lazy and I hate like putting, you know gel on my hair every day like ain't nobody got time for that so i'm about to install this wig right so 
already part the wig because I really like to do um a side part. So what I'm gonna do is this. Okay, so my makeup kind of rubbed off a little bit on there. But so first thing, I just took my foundation and I put some on my brush and then I just go. I did it for like all over because I'm like I don't know. I prefer a side part. But you never know when you want to switch it up, you know? And because of the light, it doesn't look like it's making that much of a difference. But it is. Trust me. It is. I just like to do the whole perimeter of, you know, yeah. The whole perimeter of where you might need, like, where you might need a part okay so yeah like i said i had put a little bit of makeup inside the wig this is the, in the, in the how it's constructed it has side comb comb at the bottom comb in the middle of your hair and it has like some lace in the back i just love the lace in the back i'm not gonna be putting this wig up like i never put my wigs up i always just you know keep my wig how it is um just down this wig did not come with any weird smells um yeah i'm looking at it right now and i see like some strands of like different color hair i don't think you'll be able to see it but not really too bothered by this i already cut the lace because i was really excited to wear this wig okay i was trying to wear my wig asap like i was not gonna wait and i wanted to actually see how i like the wig if I was gonna review, like I probably would have not left the review if I didn't like it. So this is the part. So this is the sides right here. It's really more like a side part. Let me see if I can do a middle part on here. I really don't want to though because I don't I'm not planning on doing a middle a middle part, but let's see if I wanted to how that would look. So this is like from earlier, I did the edges. And it has some got to be blue gel on there. So, you see like it had one knot. So these are like some baby hairs that I had done. I don't really, like when it's curly hair like this, I'm not gonna really pluck out the hair. Like I'm just not. It's gonna look like a ball spot. <laughs> okay. And I like this hair has really like the comb is just going through it. Like the comb is just going through it. And there's barely like any hair coming out. Like the comb is just going through it. Like this is this is curly hair. So this is like minimal shedding for curly hair, you know? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really blind and I really can't see this part. So I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can like see how this part is and see if I like it. So hold on. Oh, now my glasses are dirty. Hold on. I'm telling you, like I did not ask to be blind. Like I've had glasses forever. I usually wear my contacts, but I prefer to wear my glasses because it's more comfortable to me. And just pop them off anytime I want to take a nap. Okay, so this part actually doesn't look too bad when I have the glasses on. So this is how I like to do my hair. This is literally how I like. Because, let me tell you, I don't sleep with my wigs on. I take that shit off. Like, the moment I'm literally home, I pop it off real quick right pop it off real quick and i go about my business and go about my day <laughs> and you can't do that if that shit is glued down to your scalp so i always like to do a little baby hair just a little baby hair like just a little middle swoop right like i'm literally gonna just lay this wig down like this like i don't do a lot of baby hairs I'm not queen of baby hairs, you feel me? Like, I just be doing like literally like this. So, 
I'm good, I guess. I like the rest of the food. Okay, so. So, yeah. So, like, I'm not gonna... Like, I, I would literally work at 8 a.m. almost every morning. I wake up at 6. Leave the house at, like, 7.20. 7.30 at the latest. Or sometimes 7.40. Because I'd be late all the time. I'd be late all the time. So, who got time to be doing this every morning? Like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Like, it's just... That's a no. Like, I'm not doing that. So, I guess, this is my, this is my ex-boyfriend's toothbrush. When we broke up, I was like, fuck it. You know, he used to sleep over all the time. <laughs> and so, I just kept his little toothbrush. You feel me? And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use this toothbrush as my... I just like to do this one, this one baby hair. Like, I do this baby hair literally so you can't <laughs> see the lace. This is how I hide my lace, right? Like, you know, add some got to be, like, right, like, that lace is really, it's the way I cut it. I don't really like to, I like to cut as little lace as possible so I have more to work with. Like, I'd rather cut too little lace than to cut too much and then that's a problem. Again, like, I had made sideburns for this and everything, but this is the size before. Like I said, I don't usually, I never wear my hair in a middle part. Like, it's just not a thing. Middle parts is not my thing. I do a side part, so I'm just doing the middle part. Just to kind of show y'all how versatile this wig is and how you could, you know, you could finesse it. Like, I think, I mean, I was really, I know a lot of y'all are going to send $80. But this is a curly wig. It It's 14 inches. You know, it's not like it's, you know, that. Like, it's not sh super short. But yeah. I think that looks good. Like I said, I don't really do middle parts. Middle parts are not my thing. And just add a little bit of Cantu leave-in conditioner. Like, I don't know if people are still fucking with Cantu, and, but Cantu's always been good to me. I've been natural. I've been going natural since 2013. And I've always used Cantu in my natural hair. And last year, I bought my first curly hair. And I made that into a wig. And Cantu was my save-all for that wig. You know. Just sweat it up. Put some Cantu in it. And boom. That's a look. Imagine me going to work. Like, I'm good. Like, this is me on a day-to-day. -day. This is me going to work. You know, like, who gonna say this is not my hair? Who gonna say? What they gonna who, What they gonna say? Look at this, lace. Who gonna say? What they gonna say? Like, obviously, if you all up in my business, you gonna see it's a lace front. But, like, from here. From here. You know? What are you gonna say? <laughs> I'm a whole new girl, like. I'm, a, I'm such a catfish. I'm a catfish because I don't have no hair. And I, I feel like I look better with hair. I mean, unless, like, when I have a fade and I have a lineup, I look good. I look, you know, nice. But right now, that's not the case. So, yeah. So, hope you guys like my review. Personally, I would get the hair. Like, I like the hair. It was good. You know, I'm not upset about it. I feel like I'm going to wear this. I'm planning on wearing this, rocking this on my birthday, actually. I've been wanted a short, curly bob. And I wasn't really committed to a 12 inch. Like, I didn't want to do a, th a, tw a 12 inch or even an a 8 inch, you know. So I was like, you know, I want that kind of overgrown bob look. When I did the middle part, when I did the side part, it, it made like, and it f fluffed out a little bit. 
it look more edgier. This is just nice basic look, you know. I'm going to the store, you know. But I'm planning on rocking this hair for a couple of months. Cause I'm trying to get my sorry. Some gas. I'm trying to get my money's worth. And I need to grow my hair out. And the only way my hair gonna grow out is if I don't touch it. So I think this hair got uh honestly, I would give it an eight out of ten because it was $80, so it was a little bit on the expensive side, I feel like, for short hair. But this is curly hair, so you gotta think like, it wasn't that bad. It was on Amazon Prime, came to the next day, you know, and supposedly, if I like the hair and I leave a review, I'm getting some money back. So, that's something to look forward to. And yeah, like, I have not seen any reviews by this, per like any, person make a review for this company and actually it wasn't bad and i've seen people who dyed it you know so it looks good i'm actually playing what i'm planning for my birthday is i'm gonna blow it out and curl it up with a wand you know and do like a little short you know nice voluptuous curly look so we'll see how that goes but if you haven't already subscribe you know i got more things like this coming your way you know like i said this little um, eighty dollar wig on Amazon. I think was a steal. You know, it looks good, nice and basic. But yeah, see y'all. Catch y'all next time. So I'm gonna be trying to post starting next week because this week's almost over. I don't got time to be doing a lot of that shit. But starting next week, I'm gonna try to post three times a week. Right, be consistent. You know, I have a lot of things that I'm working on. Um, a lot of cool videos that, you know, it's going to be popping. So, yeah, and if you guys want me to do more reviews on cheap, reasonably priced hair for the low low, because your girl, you know, your girl loves a deal. Your girl loves a deal. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, this was not even a Thanksgiving deal, nothing. So, I love me a good deal, and I love me a little bargain, and this was a bargain, because I needed a wig ASAP. And Amazon had my back. I bye see y'all next time make sure you hit that notification bell and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel hit that like button leave a comment let me know how you think I did all right bye